Hello, my name is Lee Colazzo. I am a school librarian, a secondary school librarian in Shanghai, China, and I am going to demonstrate for you today how to use my PowerPoint trivia games in Zoom for distance learning. So normally I would use these games at lunchtime. Uh, sometimes I've used them in the class and during class time as well, depending on the topic of the game. I have many of these games. Um, this one I wouldn't, I would use this one at lunch because the, it's just random trivia questions. So uh, normally I would use these at lunch. The students, um, I usually have about 25 or so students show up. It's optional, they don't have to sign up or anything. They just bring their lunch with them to the library and we start playing at a certain time and we play as long as we can and then there's prizes at the end um, which are usually uh, I do a lot of like quirky little things like ring pops and uh, candy necklaces and um, weird socks from uh, just you know just little cheap stuff that that they like uh, sometimes it's food because in a private school we can do that uh, and sometimes it's not so uh, anyway so let me show you the game oh these are super fun my kids just love 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 these so this is my newest one and this one is A to Z trivia so the first three slides are um, directions for you you would not show those to the students um, to play this you're just going to open it in PowerPoint and then share your screen in Zoom. And then you're gonna go to your presentation mode. And there's your game board. So for this game, um, most of my students in the library that come um, are grades six through nine. It's open up through grade 12, but it's usually grades six through nine who are most participating, mostly participating in my games. I also do these in the classroom and it's usually grades six through nine as well. So this particular game, uh, the students would work either in teams or individually, and they would choose one of the letters. So uh, you would start and let's say that the student chose letter N. So you would click on the N. You as the teacher would have control over it. You do not need to send out the PowerPoint to your students. They would be watching you on a screen share just like they would with any other PowerPoint. So the students would either answer the question or not. Um, if they knew the question and the answer, um, they would get the point value at the top, but um, uh, they may or may not know. And then every slide and the answer gives a little explanation of the answer and there's always an image with the exception of a couple of slides. It, sometimes the image in the question gives away the answer, so I didn't put an image on those. So the students usually keep score in the library. I just have a team captain uh, keep a piece of paper on their desk and they just um, write down the scores as we go. They're pretty good about doing that. And then we go back to the game board. And now you can see that the N that we selected is gone. That's really important because we don't want the students to select in again later in the game, not realizing that's already been selected. That could get very confusing after you've selected a lot of the questions. So let's try B. So the student would answer, and if they answered correctly, they would get the 200, and then back to the game board, and now the B is gone. So um, this is great to play um, for the end of the year game, so now the Q is gone. Um, just, it's just a lot of fun. Um, this, isn't some, this particular one isn't a serious game, but I, I do have those if you like that. So, um, and share my screen here. So if you um, like this game, I do have it and lots of other ones available in my TPT store. The link is down below. And I also have them in my blog store um, for Mrs. Reader Pants. So I hope your students love these games as much as mine do.